Hi there everyone, my name's Chris and today I'll be doing a bit of a gear overview sort of review type thing for you um, all about this little bit kit here. This is the Warrior Assault Systems DCS plate carrier in Multicam as you see. Now, to start off, what I'll be doing, I'll like just be uh, showing the basic procedure for putting it on. Um, one of the handy features about DCS is that on the front sort of a molly webbing flap here you've got these little handy uh, handles I suppose um, basically now I'm in two minds about these things on the one hand they're great for just grabbing and opening it up because you've got massive squares of velcro under here which can make it tricky to get access but it can be a snag hazard so yeah on the one hand useful on the other hand potentially might snag on things uh, I've, you know, I've not feel it yet fielded this yet so we'll see how that goes on that front donning the uh, DCS itself quite easy grab these handles tear up the velcro here um, you can remove either side of the cover one left or right to get in and tie it up to you I'll go with the left hand side got another little handy tab on the uh, cover one itself tear all that velcro off over your head that half the cover one goes back on down and that's all the velcro is secured and there you are you're in we'll start off a uh, quick um, commentary on the basic quality of the vest um, to sum it up really uh, I would have no problem whatsoever and I would say that anyone who was um, infantry or marine or whatever I don't think they would have any issue at all wearing this in a real combat zone the all the basic Cordura that it's made of is a thousand denier Cry Multicam. All the webbing, Cry official Multicam webbing. The stitching, it's all mil spec thread. It's stitched two, three, four, five, however many times, and then zigzag over the top of it just to make sure everything is secure. Every little point of stitching across every piece of the webbing here is solid. I've had a very good look over this before I started the video. I spent a lot of time checking it over and it is an extremely well made piece of kit. The quality control is very good. Um, a couple of features when you're wearing it. It's not designed to carry soft armor as far as I know. Basically what you've got is pouches for your plates, armor plates front on the back and you've also got side plate pockets on each side of the cummerbund. It gives you a good amount of molly real estate. You can attach three 30 round standard 5.56 millimeter magazines across here. That's if you're just single stacking them. One, two, three. Um, you get a decent sized hydration carrier on the back. You'll be able to get a couple of general purpose or radio or whatever type pouches on the sides, grenades, um, you know, you name it. There's a there's a good amount as you can see on the side and I've got it adjusted down fairly tightly. On the front here as you can see you've got velcro. This portion here is just a plain strip of velcro for a name tape, blood type, um, no known allergies, something like that. This top row of molly webbing here also has velcro on the top of it which is good so you can still attach say an admin pouch on that area of the chest if you wanted to. You've got these vertical strips of webbing here. now. I'm not 100% on this, I believe they are designed that you can hang some uh, quick release buckles off of here so that you could, if you wanted, just use this entirely plain with a couple of um, buckles just hanging there, then get a separate chest rig, push it on here, clip it on, and they you know, have all your magazines on top of it. So if you ever were perhaps running your belt rig with all your mags on, you could use that instead and then maybe just add more to this just with a quick release system or you could put an ITW a Grimlock or a Web Dominator or some bungee cord, wherever you like, just wrap through there to secure your hydration lines and your comms lines coming over your shoulder, that sort of thing. On that similar note, you've also got these pieces on the side, I'll show you a bit up close. What you've got is two strips of Montcam webbing with Velcro on, as you can see. What they'll do is wrap around on themselves, secure in place, and if you've got a camelback tube coming over, or maybe it's coming around your sides if you've got a small um, bladder on a side pouch, wherever. You've, maybe you've got a radio here, you've got a line coming up, and you've got your headset. Anything like that, they'll help secure that in place. Very handy little feature. Um, that is 
pretty much everything in the front. Uh, the shoulder pads themselves are very, very comfortable. The, the whole rig overall is extremely comfortable, I have to say the fit. And the overall, just like I say, the comfort is excellent. This, the one feature that I am definitely going to say I don't get um, and I feel is well bad basically is the quick release buckle here. You can see on this shoulder, it's just um, the multi cam webbing, it's very tough stuff. Um, again, on the quality side of things, the shoulder straps are extremely sturdy. The material they've used isn't just folded cordura, it's the proper webbing. It almost has a kind of plastic feel to it almost, not in a bad way, it, it feels extremely tough and like it's going to resist whatever you throw in it. This however, is meant to be the quick release system. Now, when it's like that, personally I can't get it off over my shoulders and I can't really get it off down that way either, especially if you've got a belt on, you're not going to get it down there. So I don't know why they've put that there, I don't get it. It's still just as strong as the other shoulder strap. I don't have a problem with it in terms of that, but I don't know why they've put it there. Um, I don't see it working as a quick release system if you ever had to uh, get out of the plate carrier in an emergency situation where you fell in the water, um, it's on fire, whatever. I, I don't get that. It seems pointless and a waste to me. A bit of a bad design feature there. The only one, that is the only one in my mind, otherwise excellent and Let's be honest, there's a lot of other designs of play carriers, vest, chest rigs that are out there that don't have any quick release system at all, and they're still very popular, so I don't see it as a problem. But there you go, one um, down point, downside on that one. And that is the front covered sides. Not a whole lot to say, as mentioned. Plenty of molly space there, nice and comfortable. They hold a uh, plate bag, which is very handy if you you want that extra protection on the back, drag handle, but um, fairly plain other than that, I'll show that when it's off. So uh, yeah, um, as you can see from the shape of it, this probably looks like it has plates in it, it doesn't. If you were going to be using this without plates, the, another very good plus point of this vest is it is supplied with um, such, well, they're, they're big padded cushions basically, that are ceramic plate shaped and they're fitted inside the front and rear plate pockets. Keeps it nice and comfortable, gives it a good form and shape around your body while you're wearing it without real plates in. Uh, moving it obviously is the same as putting it on in reverse, putting the flap at the front, velcro on the side goes away, over your head, easy as that, only takes a couple of seconds. Close that back down. Put it back up, and there you go. Um, regards the back, obviously. Um, I'll take a look here. I'll take a look at the drag handle. What you'll see is straight away there's a lot of thread holding this on, which is important because it's going to have to take a lot of strain and weight. You've got um, all this threading in here holding it all on. It's good quality um, webbing material. As you'll have noticed there, it's secured down out of the way, preventing it being a snag hazard. When it's not in use, just a little square of Velcro, just keeps it down, but when you do need it, easy to deploy, just like that. Shoulder pads, these are a good feature of it. I'll, I'll show it on the side with the uh, quick release system. Um, you've got your, your air mesh type stuff on there, um, helps keep them comfortable. Adjustment for the shoulder straps is a uh, done via this uh, plastic piece here. You've got plenty of padding in there, as you'll probably be able to tell, it's nice and soft, gonna be comfortable. And to remove these, you can remove them if you want. You've got a Velcro strip along there. They're actually, and there's the, um, the shoulder strap itself, which you can see is webbing. They've also got, on this side, to keep them secured in place, there's a Velcro square on the pad itself corresponds to a strip on the shoulder strap so when you uh, press that on it's not, it's not sliding up and down anywhere and there you go so shoulders the actual adjustment in terms of your um, your chest and waist size is done by the, the back 
opens up much like the front does. And then you've got these two strips here, um, Velcro, bungee cord to keep, um, obviously your body will change as you eat and sweat and stuff like that, so the cummerbund can uh, stretch slightly in and out with that to make help keep it all comfortable. Um, there's a, there isn't a massive range of adjustment on this. I wouldn't recommend it if you're a, a particularly large person. Um, this isn't on the minimum setting and I'm, I'm pretty skinny, which does mean on the one hand that yeah, for all of us skinny guys out there that have had trouble over the years because for years and years vests have been made to fit massive tank like people, they can actually get something that does go down to fit them and it is very quick and easy to adjust the settings with using that system. Another very, very good plus point, this is something I'd specifically want to mention, is the mesh webbing on the inside of here. It is really excellent stuff. I've never seen it before. I've only ever seen it on one other product. And that is my VTAC Brokos belt. It's, as you know, should be able to hopefully tell, it's the same webbing now. You get an extremely good depth of clearance between your body and all the materials that are going to try and keep that sweat in and stop the air flowing using this stuff. There's a good five mil of depth that um, air can flow through. Even when it's squashed down, um, it's really going to help keep you sort of uh, uh, you know, refreshed and dry and stop all that sweat building up underneath, which is never comfortable. Um, it's used throughout the whole back piece, all the way on the inside on the front, on the shoulders. Now this is, this is I showed before, but now this is your standard mesh. This is what they've been using on various bits of gear for years and years and years, this stuff. And uh, this new mesh is, like I said, I've not seen it before, and it's a big step up. You get a lot more um, depth of material that the air can flow in between using this kind of mesh. So, uh, yeah, very good plus point on that. I mentioned the plate bags before that are fitted in the side. And what these are uh, enable you to do it's secured very securely in place, as you can see. Got one of these on each side. Basically, you buy your small ceramic side plate. Open up this bag. You can see, this is just multicam called Jura. Insert your plate into there. Close that up. You can slot that into the DCS. It basically means you've not got any exposed plate sticking out. If you would imagine that the only thing holding the plate in was that wrapped over the top of it, it'd probably be alright, but with the plate inside this bag, that's, that lid is secured over the completely over the top of it, and then you've got all this Velcro, which has corresponding Velcro inside the cummerbund, it's all holding it in. As I say, you've got those on both sides. Your side plates are not going anywhere. You can pick these up, they are currently available in the Multicam, and they've just recently been made available in Coty Brown at uktactical.co.uk or is it .com I'll put the website URL down in the video description for anyone that's interested they're available for £90 and yet another very good plus point of the DCS there's a lot of similarly styled plate carriers out there um, I know I mean at the end of the day this has probably been based on some of these other examples but you've got your Cry JPC your Mayflower plate carrier, one like this. You've got your LBT 6094. Um, Blue Force gear produce a similar one. There's there's a good variety of them out there. And you're not going to see them for, I mean, if you could even get them in the UK, which you mostly can't, you're not going to see them for less than about £200 after the currency conversion. This is less than 100 all the materials are the proper real deal stuff. The construction quality is right up there. But, you know, the, this to me is the one to go for. So, yeah, very, very strongly recommend. Um, anyone's got any questions, please do post them in the comments down below. If you want more of the same, hit the old subscribe button. Um, hope you enjoyed watching guys, I'll see you next time.